Hello, welcome back to the Spider's Web, and uh, this is the final video in our painting of the um, Brothers IL model. Um, it's taking a while, I know, but one of those things where you're going to do a decent job. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, the next video series we're going to be doing in the Space Hulk series is going to be on the Librarian. And then we'll get cracking with the other uh, Space Marines. Um, once we've done all of those, we'll get started on the uh, Tyrannics. The um, Gene Stealers, sorry. Okay, so uh, I said this one we're going to be finishing off all the um, final details on the major um, fiddly things and um, <laughs> it's going to be finishing this one okay so uh, hope you enjoyed the video hope you enjoyed the series so far plenty more to come <laughs> enjoy Carrying on with this, um, we are going to be highlighting a little bit on the white areas, which are going to be this scroll, these ropes, that scroll. I think that's it, really. So we'll do this first, and a little bit of white on the brush, not on that much. And you want to try and get as much off the brush as we can because I don't want it to be um, I want it to be more of a, a dry brush Oops. Um, um, actually painting on it I'm just going to rub run the brush down across here make it look that whitish colour and we're going to do the same thing along these braids I'm going across rather than down like so and this one as well Oh, yeah. and I'm going to also just do the top part of this scroll because it's sticking out just a little bit much and it may <coughs> maybe catching the light to that little bit more than the rest of it so I'm going to do that with this as well there we are I'm just going to alter the camera angle, won't be a right. second. So now what we need to do, I've just realised I've missed something that should have been black. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> so, let's get the black out again. I'm using Abaddon Black. And it's just a little, small, tiny area what it's here and it's rolled around the sides of this either so to do that as well and I'm going to have to start changing brushes for the next part because the bristles on this I just a little bit too splayed now. And I 
I've noticed as well down underneath here that the red is still showing through in some areas okay so I'm going to wash this brush and then I'm going to get a new brush out because as I said the bristles on that one I'm getting just that little bit splayed and they'll say that when you they are saying that when you flick it to a point it looks fine let's see if we can get away with it and do a little bit more bringing up the white again um, because there is these areas here that I want to do slightly differently so I'm going to be painting the alternate ridge is white Is that one? I don't think there's any more on here, but there is one on here. So, again, alternate ridges. taking up to that oops now I can always tear it up afterwards with black that is not an issue and So that's what we're doing with that. Now the reason we're doing that is because every alternate stripe, I want, or every alternate section of that, I want to be yellow, which is why, obviously now, I've done it white, so the yellow will stand out. So the yellow I've chosen is flash git yellow. And as I say, any area that we shouldn't have gone over with the yellow, we can always um, we can always tear it up when it's dried with black. And here we go. Just go over everywhere we've painted white with the yellow. Right, so I want to do here as well.
hoping you can see this okay. There we go. Now, this is where we get a brand new brush because this is where we start doing the jewels on the eyes. And I want a good quality. Um, a good quality point to my brush. So, using our fine detail brush, here we go. First off, we want to use Warboss Green. To that onto our palette. And this is going to be for the eyes. And oops. I'm hoping you can see this because I'm having trouble at the moment. One eye done. And now the other eye. There we are. That's that part done. I've just seen some work that is still red that shouldn't be. So I'm going to place the new brush down there and get the old brush out again and I'm going back to the not rune fang steel. Mind you I can use rune fang steel, it'll be alright. For the area I'm doing. It's just the area there, that's it. And what I also want to do is just There we are, I think. That should do the trick. Next we have the jewels. Now I want to just have a quick look at the reference stuff on here. Okay, so we seem to have different colours of jewels. And so First of all, again using the Runefang steel, which I just want to shake up a little bit because it's a bit thick at the moment. What I'm going to do is go over this jewel here. steel yep. just 
notice there is a very 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 fine hurt on the point a very fine bristle on the point of my brush I'm going to have to see if I can try and cut that off without damaging the point I'm trying my best not to get I'm trying to um, do my best not to get um, what you call it uh, paint in the very top part of the brush because that's the that's why I tend to get the bristles flaying out more splaying out as it were. Well. So that's one part done. Here's another one. little bit of water are there any more? yes there's one down here now I'm doing this to try and get like a shiny look to the um, the paints that I'm going to put on here. I will be doing a little extra on this to uh, make it shiny, make it glassy, but um, so I just want to make sure that it's um, it's got that little bit of a start if you get me drift. Okay, and now I go over this one as well. And once we've done this, we can go back to the eyes and add a little bit of a highlight to those I think that is all yep, there's no more gems, jewels, whatever you want to call it so we'll So again, I'll put that brush down to one side so I don't get myself confused. And what I'm going to use now is an old faithful scorpion green. I think this is now called moot green. I may be wrong on that. Okay, so that's a very fine line. Near the top of the eye. You can just about see it if you look very carefully. It's not Not something that stands out a great deal, but and now back to the flash kits yellow. 
and the flash gets yellow is the colour of the jewel that is on his shoulder pad here looking at my reference material so just make sure we get a good coverage of this So, we are getting very near the edge, or the end, of the road with this. There's not much else to do. It's just, a, as I say, it's just a fiddly things. Now, we have a little bit of mixing to do here. <laughs> it does show a blue, um, a blue gem for everything else near enough but I think sort of green might be a nicer touch so a little bit of sort of green and there oops and here top that like so and down like that that's better and I'll do this one in exactly the same colour now I so say we're going to be doing some mixing it's to give the highlights to this colour I'll be doing that by mixing um, white in with the Soltec green. There we go. Looks a little different. If it was left to me, I'd do them all in. I'd have done them all in red. But <laughs> my birthstone's ruby, so there we go. Now I'm just going to put that brush to one side while I get out another brush. We're going to get a bigger dollop of the Soltec green. We're going to get some white in the mix. more white. I want this quite pale. That's better. That looks the business. Okay. Swap my brush. paint and this will go like so hope you can see that I 
I may need just a little bit more of a darker look. So half of it gets Again with this one. Like so. And then it's not salted green mixing with white, it's just a dab a dab, a dab of white. <laughs> That dab of white is going to go there. There. And by all accounts, one should go here. And here. <coughs> now, the next thing we need to do. Is, well, first of all, I'm going to put this back over the brush to protect the bristles and to show me which one's my new um, my new brushes. I'm going to push the. I'm also going to give this area another coat because with holding it it's come off so that's going to be the black and then dry brush up. No, in fact it wasn't the black it was the iron brick wasn't it? So we'll go over with the iron breaker Anywhere I can see it, I'm just going to give a quick dry brush. With this. And then, one thing most lot of people do on these is drill out the golden barrels. I don't do that because I can never get the um, the drill bit in the right place, so that's why I haven't done it. It's always I can never seem to get it right, so I'd sooner not bother doing it than do it and make it look stupid. Okay, so that's. All the red hidden. Okay, next, what I want to do is wash my brush, find my piece of tissue paper that I'm using, or my kitchen towel that I'm using for um, 
watching my cold and get drying brushes. I nearly dropped my black paint then. And now we'll go over the base in the black. Now the unboxing I was asking about rust in space. Um, rust is probably not the correct look for this so I'm not going to be bothered doing it because it's not going to fit in well with the the actual boards what I was planning on doing so I'll have to show you that effect on different models but thanks to Mad Lad Designs Andy uh, for the link and thanks to oh dear god I do apologize I can't remember who it was who sent me the other piece of information um, oh heck I've just gone over the foot um, yeah so I had another bit of information sent uh, sent to me as well um, and I can't remember who it was okay laddie behave it's two people outside um, yeah I, I apologize I can't remember who it was who sent me the second piece of information but um, thanks to you both for actually sending me the information um, but as I say, it's not something I'm going to be using. I've had a bit of a think about it since. And even if I did do it, it's not going to fit in with the look of the, the boards. So I'm not going to bother. So there we have done. Okay, so we've come, on, oh, we've come to the stage where I want to do the little bit extra here. And what we're going to be using is a little bit of green stuff. And what we're going to be doing is rolling out a bit of a sausage. Okay. Oops. I'll try and get it done without any creases. That may be a little bit too much there. Let's break some off. Put it to one side. Um, what we're trying to do here is make the flame for the um, ignition thing for the uh, okay so we do that what we want to do now is use PVA glue seriously on purpose white glue little spot on there on the palette and then using um, a fine detail brush I've got a scraggy old one here I'm just going to give it a brush over the jewels and that We'll do the same thing as her, as uh, add coat or gloss varnish. You may have seen me do this technique before on other models. It goes on white, but it dries clear and it dries shiny. You can see through. I'm going to add a little bit more onto here. And here, I've not done that one yet. I'll do that one as well. 
I will also do this one even though it's not painted up as a jewel. In fact, it's not actually shown on the um, on my reference material, but I'm going to do it anyway to make it look shiny and red. And there we are. That's him done. Okay, so the next one I'm going to be doing will be the Librarian. So, as I say, that's it for the Heavy Flame of uh, Marine. We've got the Zio. Um, all that needs now for him is uh, a quick blast with um, Purity Seal and then he's done. Once he's gone over with the Purity Seal, I think I may go over the jewels again and I need to paint the... Um, little flamey things here assuming of course it sticks properly which I have my doubts about but no stuff it I'm giving up on that idea <laughs> um, I don't like it now I've seen it so I'm not going to do it. I'm going to leave it as that. Okay, so as I said, it's up to you what you'd like me to do. And we're doing all the Marines. Are you happy with that one? And uh, the Librarian. Please, please, please let me know. Preferably before I finish the Librarian, then I know what I'm going to be doing after that. Okay, so that's the that's put the Zile finished. So until next time. Oh, hang on a minute. It's not. I've just remembered something he does have. Um, Brother Zyle has a flame effect on his uh, shoulder, doesn't he? In white. Let's get that done. I forgot about that. Get back on your perch, young man. Here we are. Okay, as I said, if this is pure, this is all in white, it's not, there's no, um, there's going to be no colours going into, no other colours going into it, it's just, just white. And it's, Stemming from the inside of here, I'm going to have to turn it up a little bit. Now, and it's... What I'm going to have to do is make sure that I put the brush into the white paint and not the PVA glue that I've just been using. I'm going to move those out of there. I'm going to do it slightly different than it's shown in the... Uh, in fact, I'm going to use my new brush because I can't get a decent enough point on this one. Okay, so... There we are. There's our flame design on the side. So I'm going to have to just turn up the um, all the gold parts 
afterwards. But I'm hoping um, what I'm going to do is just raise the camera slightly. Okay, I'm going to move that out of the way. I'm going to close that. And I'm going to show you the that's what we're trying to or the effect we're trying to get. But as I said, I've done it slightly different because I don't like that. So there we are. Apart from the turning up, that's Brother Azale done. So until the next time, as always, take care, God bless, and bye for now.